country. And uh, yeah, and I'm part of uh, Urgency International Network. I am the president of Urgency. I I'm not. <laughs> I don't like very much to use the titles, but it's important to to share this. And uh, yeah, and I, I am not sure how to complement everything that I I've heard because um, um, I have been uh, last uh, twenty years uh, linked. Uh, with food sovereignty movements and especially the last five, uh, the last ten years, from uh, ecofeminism and <coughs> also a um, you know, ecofeminist perspective, and the last years also incorporating the intersectionality perspective. Uh, two key words, uh, because I think if we are uh, thinking about to uh, how to change the paradigm. Uh, for me are two key words. Uh, one is uh, healthy planet, uh, land, and the other one is community. And I think that um, this is because if we look at uh, the perspective of uh, feminist uh, text and others, um, if we uh, look at the basic um, needs that we have for a, a real sustainable life, I think the of course the base is the planet, a healthy uh, planet, and this should be in the center uh, in all that uh, we are build and we are building and we are doing. And um, I think that if we uh, if we want to to have uh, this perspective, uh, we need to link it also with our communities and. Who is, and if we are thinking about the communities I, and the uh, collective spaces that we have, I think that is super uh, important uh, to look at who is uh, taking part and who is not also uh, of uh, spaces. No, uh, and for me, linking uh, all this uh, for me is. Uh, important to say that when we uh, if we are uh, talking about democracy and participation um, if we look at public policies who is building the public policies who is talking about the climate change in many uh, spaces um, you uh, cannot uh, see farmers many times uh, who is building the public policy the uh, the, um, the cap no, the, the, the main uh, public policies that affect the rural areas, our lives. I live in a, in a rural area, in a very small town, and uh, we are not the, the most important uh, person when uh, the public policies are, are being uh, building. No? So I think uh, that we, we need to, to um, to, how to say, to recovery the territorial approach uh, because it's not urban or rural area, it's what, is, what are, uh, which are uh, our territories, how can we work together and in these uh, territories. And sometimes we know that the <laughs> social territory is not the same that, um, how to say, the official or uh, we need to, to look, and I, of course we need to, to we need to because we are in the world, but uh, we cannot um, forget the the other parts of the regions, and we need to to build these links uh, between uh, rural, uh, urban, but uh, from an equal perspective again the the urban uh, area. So, and uh, I think this is. Important if we need a uh, climate, <laughs> a healthy uh, planet, we need uh, farmers, we need uh, rural areas. And I don't know, uh, for example, now in Spain, okay, we have some good policies in some <coughs> uh, directions, but uh, the main narrative um, is to that we need we have empty uh, areas. And we need to people to to go there. And uh, the main narrative is how to say to create like 
co-working uh, rural spaces, <laughs> no? But we, and I live in, in a rural area and I'm not farmer, so I cannot uh, speak on this, like, it's not for me, but uh, we need farmers, we need people to, to, <laughs> to, uh, to yeah, to, to feed us and to feed all the people. And uh, it's not only to to have more people. Is what kind of relationship do we want in the territories? No, and I think this is uh, when we talk about the communities. Uh, what is a community in this century? You know, I think is another uh, I don't know another question because. Uh, Traditionally, the communities are, uh, were in a physical space, and now we live in this virtual life that uh, we have. So, and if we want to link with uh, other people, with young people, with uh, people from many countries, we need our main tools, of course, for that. But I think that some concepts uh, needs to be uh, rethink. Are we designing these participatory um, processes that we that we want? No, who is designing the processes for who and from where? And uh, because sometimes I see that we have some I don't know, uh, the, uh, processes for public uh, policies. Uh, yeah, it's a participatory process, and it's designed in in a um, in an, an office, then, okay, you have everything designed and then you invite some people to come and to use, it's not for this space, sorry, but to use some posits and to to do a participatory, <laughs> it's not for this, sorry, to, to do something cool and okay, you have the participatory space, no, and, and you don't call, uh, you, you don't call uh, again that people to to have a common hour movement, including uh, our, <laughs> uh, including urgency. Uh, I I think okay, but uh, what are our um, success uh, criteria for a meeting? Uh, is the quantity? If who is participating? Uh, who when are here the most vulnerable people? Maybe are and I don't know them. Sorry, eh? but. Um, if we are talking about the social and solidarity economy, I think we need to take all of this in consideration because, and um, I finish with this, I think the, that uh, we cannot transform the world if our movements, if we don't start from our movements. So, yeah.